What's your name and badge number? What's this about? Can I just get your name and badge number, sir? I'm following up on an investigation that I'm conducting from the Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department. I was told that you were forced to resign from the department uh, based on allegations of evidence missing, over 800 items missing from evidence lockup. I'm investigating um, some allegations of corruption by the Chief Rubin here. Um, I was told that he was forced out of Fair Oaks Ranch uh, for destroying evidence. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we're at the City Hall here in Blanco, Texas. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. Before we go in, this is not the typical First Amendment audit. This is an audit, but we are also here to investigate Chief Rubin of the Blanco City Police Department as we received allegations of corruption and tyranny. How are you? How can I help you? Hi, I was wondering if I could speak to um, someone in the administration. Okay, um, that would be Lauren. Laura Victor? No, he's not. Oh, Lauren? Mm -hmm. Miss Lori's here. Oh, I'm oh. sorry, I thought you said Warren. Oh, no. Lori, your father-in-law's here. And uh, okay. city administration? Right. Okay, and who are you with? I'm an independent journalist. A journalist? Right, ma'am. Well, he just left your meeting. Okay. So, uh, if you want to call him, you can take his card. It's on the wall. It's Warren Escobie. City administrator? Perfect. Thank you. He's not in right now. He's just stepped out. He did, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you so. Thank you so much, ma'am. Have a great day. Hi again, ma'am. How are you? I tried to get a hold of Mr. Scovey, and uh, he hasn't been answering me. He, has he? Has he come back from his meeting? No, he hasn't. Unfortunately. Right. Okay. I'll give him another call. Are you? Are you familiar with any of the? I'm investigating your chief, Ruben here, and I was wondering if you if you were aware of any allegations. I was told that you were called by a former law enforcement officer and that they explained to you the allegations of the chief um, inappropriate sexual relationships, multiple government em female government employees, um, that he was just, they got caught destroying evidence and he was forced out of Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department for destroying evidence and all types of uh, misconduct. No, sir, I don't have any knowledge of that. Sasha, come here, ma'am. And just, HR director, please. Okay. Yeah, I was told that a former law enforcement officer called here to let you know when he was being hired. The chief was being hired. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hi. Uh, my name is Sean. Nice to meet you. Hi. I, I'm, I'm investigating um, some allegations of corruption by the chief, Ruben, here. Um, I was told that he was forced out of Fair Oaks Ranch uh, for destroying evidence. And Do you know anything about those allegations? Has anybody called you? I've... Know nothing about that. Ruben, um, Chief Ruben was here before I got hired, so I did not do his onboarding. Right. I don't know anything. When do you know the process of hiring a chief, just in general, not just with Chief Ruben, but is there like an investigation done or or something like or or, or something well, of that nature? I, mean, I don't know all what the police side does. I can't say, but um, they do strenuous background checks, and they have to go through different psych evaluations and things like that on the police right. side compared to the admin side. Right, so understandable. They do have different, um, but again, I don't know all the things they do. Right. They do have to do, like I said, psych, background, drug tests, the normal things along with the other things because they have codes over there with the police force. And the, and the mayor here, ma'am, the mayor's name is? Our, our current mayor? Your current mayor, yes. It's Mike Arnold. Is that like a part time position? No, I, I just sometimes I, I travel around the country. Sometimes when it's like a small city uh, like this one, the, the mayor is like a part time position and it's not really no. active in the day to day. No, so it's a full time position. But the, the person who really runs the city is, would be like the city administrator, right? The day to day operations. City administrator, yes. Right. Who is employed here at yes. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. And if there was like a city council meeting, where would that be held, ma'am? Uh, we have it over there, like right, like right next door to the piece. It's called the Byers Building. Right. It has that swing out on the porch. That's where the city yeah, council meetings. City council meetings, and we have them once a month. Once a month. Do you know when the next one is, just by chance? I'd have to check with Lord. <laughs> she has it on her board. Thank you, ma'am. February 13th. 
February 13th. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, thank you. And thank you for your time today, ma'am, too, as well. Like I said, I'm just investigating. I'll speak to Mr. Scovey uh, when he's available. Thank you so much, okay? Oh, yes. Thank you. Have a great day, okay? Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the card to City Administrator Warren Scovey right here. Now let's go and head over to the Blanco Police Department to see if we can speak to Chief Rubin regarding these corruption and tyrannical allegations. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we just left the Blanco City Hall. Let's take a look around the Blanco Police Department, see if we can speak to Chief Rubin and ask him the tough questions. Hey, how are you? All right, what's going on today? Uh, nothing much, how are you? All right. Good, good, good. What can I help you with? Oh, uh, just taking a look around. Okay. What's your name and badge number? What's this about? Can I just get your name and badge number, sir? Okay. Yeah, I'm Officer Rodriguez. Badge and number 208. Thank Michael you, Police Officer Department. Rodriguez. Of course, man. Appreciate that. Yeah. You having a good day? Yeah, I'm great day. Very cool. Beautiful day outside today. Okay. Um, Officer Rodriguez, I, I do have some questions for you, though. Okay, um, hang, on, hang on. What's this in reference to? Oh, yeah, just, just, are, just are some questions. Are you something? Because I don't, I, I, I'm not the media representative. Do you have a media representative here? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. He's at lunch right now, but... I'm oh, he's at lunch? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Is that the chief? Yeah. Hi, chief. How are you? Good. How are you? Hi, my name is Sean. Nice to meet you, chief. Nice to meet you. Hi. I just had a couple questions. I'm following up on an investigation that I'm conducting from the Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department. I was told that you were forced to resign from the department uh, based on allegations of evidence missing, over 800 items missing from evidence lockup that was confirmed by a... Gayla Robinson, a consultant. Is that true? No, I submitted my 30 days notice and resigned in good standing. Retired you, in good standing. You retired from the uh, Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department in good standing. Did you self-destroy drug and alcohol by placing inside a 50-gallon drum secured behind an evidence shed? I did not. You did not do that? No, I did not. Did you have inappropriate relationships with multiple female employees, including... And Elsie Serald, Detective Elsie Serald, um, as well as a, let me see here, city secretaries, home association employees, female office working for the department, even the mail lady at the USPS? No. You didn't have any inappropriate sexual relations with them? So if, if I were to requ- request all these documents from Fair Oaks Ranch, I already did, but there's nothing, there's nobody, so if, if people, a confidential informants came up to me and said uh, that these things are true, that they're lying? These are former and current law enforcement officers that used to work for you at Fair Oaks Ranch. I'm telling you, they did not occur. Are you are you aware that are you aware of the controversy that's happening right now with uh, Chief Tim Mooring at a Fair Oaks Ranch? He worked for you, correct? He did. He was your lieutenant there while you were a chief. Yes. And now he's the chief of Fair Oaks Ranch. Correct. And do you, do you know anything about the allegations that he is retaliating against I his officers no, there? I have no knowledge of that, other than what was on the news. What was on the news, right? Okay, so I'm just, like I said, I was just investigating. Why did you come to this department? Why, did, why would you leave such a high-paying job, a six-figure job? Right now you're making, what, fifty, sixty thousand dollars 60000 Is that what public records said? No. No? That's not correct. So you retired from Fair Oaks Ranch. Correct. For what For what reason, if you mind? I've been there over 20 years. Over 20 years, so you just decided to retire? And did you have any adversarial relationships? Was there any reason why people would lie about you and say these things about you? I'm not sure who's lying about me. I don't know if anyone is lying about me. I don't know well, where the, I didn't, coming yeah, from. Well, they're, they're so. former and uh, current law enforcement officers that are telling me this information about the inappropriate sexual relationships with multiple females throughout the government there in Fair Oaks Ranch, uh, the self-destroyed drug and alcohol uh, by placing in 50-gallon drums. These are pretty specific allegations, Chief, and as well as the 800 items of missing evidence, missing drugs, jewelry, tools, and this was verified by a Gayla Robinson, Texas Association of Property and Evidence Inventory Technician. Is that, do you know that person? You would have to talk to her. Do you know Gayla? You would have to talk to her. But do you know her? You would have to speak to her. I just wanted to know if you were familiar with her, that's all. So it, you retired there, you just retired there, and you just got a job here at Blanco. Do, you just, do the administration here at Blanco know about the allegations against you from Fair Oaks Ranch? I know when I was hired here, they did a background investigation. Um, were they ever involved? Were you ever involved in any type of federal lawsuit or anything? A federal lawsuit? I'm aware of. Not that you're aware of. Okay. A federal lawsuit? No. I don't believe I've ever been involved in any lawsuit. 
any lawsuit, right? So you just retired there. So is that normal for law enforcement? I'm just curious. Is, is it normal it's for law enforcement? Very, yeah. I'm not, it might be. I'm not. I'm just curious. Is it normal for law enforcement to retire from one department and then go work as a chief for another department? Absolutely, absolutely. It's it, it's very normal. So you're collecting two checks. Correct. You retire Good for you. and you work for another city. And you retire, you work for another city. Interesting. How long have you been here, sir? Uh, three and a half years. You've been here for three and a half years. Okay, so no reason why anybody would, why former or current law enforcement officers would lie about you and say these things about yeah, you? I have no idea. I, I'd, I'd like to know who is saying. Right, yeah, I mean, they're confidential. They, didn't want to, they don't want to like, release their... Confidential. Okay, right, they don't want to release their names and everything. I have allegations against, you know, I'm, I'm going to make up some stuff and uh, right. say who I am. I mean, I've confirmed them to be former and... and, and I've confirmed them to be former and current uh, Fair Oaks Ranch police officers. Okay. Um, like I said, I plan on speaking to Detective Elsie Serrell, apparently... There was some inappropriate relationship you've had with her in the past. No. Never happened. Never happened. I heard she's having an inappropriate relationship with the current chief as well. I, again, I've been and that they that they for... destroyed documents. Do you do you know anything about that? When you retired, they destroyed documents in the evidence room again, through paper shredder. I, I don't know. You haven't been back there yet. Have you haven't been back to say hello to everybody. All right. Well, I appreciate your time here today, Chief. I like I said, I just I'm investigating both this department and Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department, and I decided to just make the trip over here to see what was going on and uh, see if I can. I was lucky enough to be able to speak to you, so uh, at least we got your side of the story. And I'll just continue investigating. Is there? I'll be doing some open records requests. Uh, I'll be speaking to the city manager. His name is. Uh, I got a card of his somewhere. What's his name? His first name? Mr. Escovy. City manager here. City manager. City administrator, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. I'll be speaking with him about these allegations as well, just so we can get to the bottom of it. Because there, there's, there's serious allegations that need to be looked into, inappropriate relationships, evidence being destroyed unlawfully, um, you know, a lot, not not as bad as the Chief Mooring that I'm hearing about, but... <laughs> well, I would, I would tell you none of that is true. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today. I appreciate yes, it, Chief. Sir. Thank you. Have a good one. Officer Rodriguez, thank you. Have a good one, man. You too. So over here in the back of the facility, ladies and gentlemen, at least the uh, chief answered some questions for us over here. We do have a restricted area. At least the, I guess this is where they hold their impounded bikes. <laughs> this is the bicycles where they impound them. And a doghouse, their impound cage. Oh, man, at least the chief, you know, Ruben, he spoke to us. Um, I have very good sources inside the department and outside that were inside the department who have told me that this chief is as corrupt as they come. They He was forced out of Fair Oaks Ranch Police Department, the department that I'm currently investigating, and he only job that would take him is this Blanco, Texas. Blanco Police Department. As you can see here, it's pretty small police department they have a little workout area rusted out workout area over here about three or four patrol vehicles and as you can see it's just a very small department the city hall that we were just at was very small as well this is a very small community very small city here so I just wondered why would it Fair Oaks Ranch is a very prominent community that pays well from what I'm told and why would you leave Fair Oaks Ranch and come to this small police department and become the chief here why would you do that I mean two checks is definitely a reason but from what I'm being told he had a very inappropriate relationships with many females in the government administration over there as well as Destroying evidence. 800 items, ladies and gentlemen. 800 items of destroyed evidence. Including drugs, jewelry, tools. And this was all verified. Self-destroyed drug and alcohol by placing it inside 50-gallon drums. This is what Blanco Police Department wants for their police chief and the city of Blanco, Texas wants for their police chief. Again, he did deny all the allegations and he did speak with us and he did sp take some time to speak with us here, but, you know, at the end of the day, there's multiple sources coming to me with this kind of information, current and former law enforcement officers and city officials. So let's take a look before we get out of here. Oh, it is locked. So that is not a good sign. 
the door is locked to the public. <laughs> it's never a good sign when a police department is locked to the public. Again, we were just taking a look around the facility and we ran into Officer Rodriguez and the chief over here. And this is just part one of our investigation. We have a lot of open records requests to do. We have a lot more investigating. We have a lot more people to talk to. By the time this video comes out, hopefully I'll have some more answers. I'll be able to speak at some city council meetings and actually, you know, get some answers for all of you guys and for the people. We need to know what kind of men and women are running these police departments here. And like I said, I have very good authority on good authority and evidence that Chief Rubin here is one of the bad ones. But stay tuned for more updates. Let me know what you think about this one in the comment section. As always, stay safe. God bless. I'll see you in the next video. Long Island audit. Peace.